just realised that this is my big, look how big this jumper is, slouching around the house jumper. And I was intending to put a less slouchy hoodie on for filming, but I forgot. I hope I haven't got food down me. I'm gonna sound like such a dick for saying this. Don't care. Hello gang, hello friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, then hello. Hi, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff. And the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Before we do the stuff with the nails and the nail stuff, I'm going to show you some nail stuff. I got sent some more goodies from Madame Glam. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. And I've also got something else to tell you about. It's good. It's going to be great. Stick around. So I'll show you what they've sent me first. Um, I've swatched two of them and then we're going to swatch the other two together. We're going to do it together as a team. Are you going to come around and help me? No, rude. So the first color we're going to see is called, who is she? Who is she? Which might only make sense to people in the UK. So if you're not in the UK, it's called, who is she? <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness me. Now I'm not a pink person. I'm more of a kind of yellowy white. <laughs> But this is delicious. <gasps> and do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Christine with no H, doesn't it? So I swatched that. There is the swatch. I love the labels on these bottles. They're so nice. So that is who is she? If you know the answer, leave a comment below. Let me know. The next color is called hot chocolate. And it is too die for. It's so good. I want to bathe in this. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But oh. Again, gorgeous label. Oh my. Focus. Oh. oh my goodness me. Look at it. I think even out of focus, it's amazing. I have swatched it. Can you, have you, do, what, you know? Isn't it just, oh, I think I might have to have that next. Although the next two are also contenders for what I have on my nails next. Maybe you can help me decide. Wait, I could mix them together. <gasps> then I don't have to make the decision. I can pick both. I'm putting them on black. Now you can put these over any color. They're what I call toppers. Is that what they call them as well? Maybe, don't know. Oh, what? Wait, wrong bottle. <laughs> I've done uh, two coats of Perfect Black, which is by Madame Glam. I'm really shouting. I don't know why. It's because I'm trying to reach the camera, but I have a microphone, so. So this one is called Under Pressure. Look at this. <gasps> oh, sweet mother of mermaids. How amazing is that? This is called Cosmic Sparkle. And yes, that's why I picked it called Cosmic Sparkle, sold. I would have bought that based on the name alone without even seeing the picture. Cosmic Sparkle. <gasps> oh my word. It's like a purpley, pinky, greeny version of the other one, the Under Pressure. So I'm going to swatch those now. I've done two coats of, oh lordy. <gasps> Two coats of Perfect Black. Oh my. This is similar to something that I have, but it's like the thing that I have on steroids. Look at it. Holy moly. Yes, 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 yes. That is incredible. And we will do under pressure. I think this might be. <gasps> this is my next set. Oh my word. I suppose you could do this as thinly as you like. So I'm gonna try and take a bit off. So 
you could have a little bit or you could just pack it on there or do two coats or do it over blue or do it over anything but I wanted to see it over black so I thought that's going to look the most epic <gasps> oh my goodness me look at it beautiful okay they have been topped Can you see them changing colours? <gasps> this one's like pink, purple, green. This one's all peacocky and mermaidy. They are insane. I'm going to be using the hot chocolate and they're perfect black because I love this black. I've tried loads of blacks over the years and this one is the best one I've tried. <gasps> nearly forgot to show you this oh wow sir i'm not going to show you what's in it because you know i don't want to spoil it for anyone but look at this advent calendar from madame glam it's huge it's huge much better than a chocolate advent calendar where you just get one tiny chocolate that puts you in the mood for chocolate but that's it that's all you can have just one small piece now i want more chocolate you can't you've got to wait until tomorrow no i'd rather have this I'm thinking I might do a video every day as we open them. So if you do get one, we can open them together. <gasps> How cool will that be? Look, it's all hollow. <gasps> then it opens with a little door here to reveal. I don't want everything to fall out. Look at this. Have I looked at them all? No comment. We've got lots of things, things. Don't give anything away, Joseph. It's freaking heavy as well, because there's proper bottles in there and other goodies. Use my discount code for that. Follow the link in the description. I've got an affiliate link with them. We'll also put in the description, they're having a, oh, nearly knocked it over. They're having a great big sale. I think it's on the 15th this month, but check in the description. They're having a big sale. I think it's like 50% off. It's bananas. So I will put all the details of it in the description. Go there, look at the stuff, get the advent calendar. If you just want to try the brand, see what it's like, there's not just gels in there. There's other stuff. I presume, I don't know, haven't looked, have I? If you do, I would love for us to do it together. I'll do a video for every day, I'll upload a video and we can open our little advent calendars together and you'll get a great taste of what their products are like. All the information will be in the description along with this this big sale that they're having I'm gonna buy loads shall we do some nail stuff stuff with nails we do have a lovers and haters today as well i'm going to be using hot chocolate and i'm going to be using a pinky nude from a different brand because obviously i don't have lots of madame glams yet but as i build up the collection i will be using more and more so i'm going to start doing two nails in a pinky nude and then two in black. And I think, do you think we should have one that's just all hot chocolate? I think we might have to, it's just too beautiful. So let's do two nails with this. I'll do two coats of everything, but I'll only film one. Bit of fluff in there. I'm just going to cure that shit in there. It'll be fine. We'll do two. I mean, look at this black. Oh, it's so good. So I'll do two with this and I think I haven't quite decided what this set's going to be yet <laughs> but we'll worry about that when we get to the next step and let's do one in full hot chocolate I have a hot chocolate every day in the evening well at about two in the morning every day so we'll just go oh come on look at it <gasps> it's beautiful it's so good is it purple? Is it pink? Is it plum? It's just amazing. And those bits of glitter in it, some are metallic, so that meaning they're not hollow, they're just the colour of the polish. But there are some little hollow flecks in there, I see. I think I've just gone all over the blue tack. Yes. We'll cure those and then we'll do another coat on everything. So everything's had two coats and then see what happens. What am I going to do? Now, hot chocolate, the fuchsia one, is just too nice to do anything else to it. I don't want to detract from the amazingness. 
So I'm going to top it with Madame Glam's Soak Off Top Coat. Oh, it's so good. <sighs> so we will top. Look how beautiful this color is. It takes a lot for me to love something on the pink part of the spectrum. And I love this. Oh, it's divine. Right, we will get that in the lamp. Oh, that's in the lamp. Shall we have an episode of Lovers and Haters? Let's! Lovers and Haters, Lovers and Haters. Ba -ba -la -ba 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 -la. Lovers and Haters. Our lover of the day is Nikki. And she said, I never comment, but I had to tell you how happy I am I found your channel. I've just begun my nail journey recently and your videos are so helpful and inspiring. I've definitely been binging. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And lots of people say, you know, thank you for the effort and everything that it takes. And it's really nice to hear because it does take, maybe everybody else finds it easier to film and edit videos. It takes me forever. Maybe I'm just really rubbish at editing. That's because I'm not an editor. So I appreciate that you appreciate it. Yes, so thank you. We will have our hater in a min. I get a bit, the reply is long. I had options, I went with all of them. Anyway, back to this. So this is this all topped in all its wonderfulness. It's so much sparklier in person than I suspected is showing on camera. I'm going to start the pinky nude ones with a black line down the center using perfect black. I'm going to do some line work. I'm going to try and do it symmetrically. I think a black line down the center to start will help to get the symmetry. Shouldn't be flicking my brush, it has polish on it. This is a, a long striper brush. I don't know where it's from though. It doesn't have a name on it or anything. But if you want a long one, just search extra long striper, liner, brush. Those keywords will probably yield some results. I like this brush and I cannot lie. So we'll go down the centre, carefully. Whoop. That goes wonky at the top, but I think I'm going to put a crystal there, so I'm not worrying about that. I'm going to flash cure it just to hold that in place because the other lines I might pull through it and I don't want it to pull that line. And also I've got it on there, let's just keep it in place and not mess it up so I don't have to do it again. Flash cure all the time. As long as you don't need a particularly tacky layer for the next step, they shouldn't lose their tack. But obviously the more you cure, the less tacky they'll become, but they will always have a tacky layer. Tacky, 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 tacky. So if you are happy with where something is, then just flash cure it, even for 10 seconds, just holds it in place. The next brush I'm using is the Crystal Nails Zero Long. Um, I'll list the brushes I use in the description as well. So it's, it's another striper brush, but it's not as long as the one we've just used. I'm going to try and do some symmetrical lines. I'm gonna bring this down to there and then use that point as my starting point to try and match the angle of this one. It's a bit out, but that's okay. And then we'll go parallel to that because inside this, oh, shaking. Inside this, we're going to put some of the hot chocolate. We'll do the same here. So use this point as our starting point. Bring that up. Let's flash that, just to be safe. I'm just gonna flash it for 10 seconds. I think I'm going to put more lines here because I want to do some more detail, but just lines. I think lines are one of my favorite thing to do, even though they can be quite stressful sometimes. And let's put some going from here to here. Kind of art deco-y vibes I get from this sort of pattern. So there and there. Okay, once I start doing lines and I'm enjoying it, no, then I just want to add more and more and more detail. But we'll put the fuchsia on first, the hot chocolate, and see what it looks like and then we can determine how 
finickety and faffy we want to get. Do we want to faff like a fucking champion? Or do we want to keep it simple? We'll put the fuchsia on first, the hot chocolate, and see how we feel about adding more lines once that's on. Yes. So the brush I'm using now is called the Barbara 2. Oh, look at this. I love these colours together. Just going to fill that in. And try and spread the glitter out a bit. Oh, that glitter's so sparkly. It really catches the light. And the same on this side. So we can go over our line down the centre. Or you can try and keep it visible if you want, but I'm just going to go over it. I think the great thing about having a good black is that you can do line work and things with it and not have to do two coats. I've only tried a couple of gel paints. The consistency was really alien to me because I'm so used to doing line work and things with gel polish. Not to say that I wouldn't try gel paints again, but right. Okay, I'm going to flash that. Oh God, I definitely want to add more. <sighs> Do I get frilly? I'm not a very frilly person. Apart from the reply to today's hater, I got a bit frilly. <laughs> I had been drinking all day. Not in a kind of, you know, I wasn't on a rager, but I had family here and I just didn't have a soft drink all day. I was just drinking fizz all day. So when I got this hater comment, on the Dexter video, on a Dexter video, we'll get to it. Don't diss anything with my Dexter in. <sighs> Definitely want to add more of the hot chocolate on this. So I'm going to do these down here and maybe just completely fill the bottom bit in. Oh, with hot chocolate, what do you think? Before I cure this, I'm going to start with my lines here. Why am I starting at this point? No idea. Should I switch to a smaller brush? Absolutely. But never mind. So we'll put some little lines along here. I don't really know what vibe this is. Oh, they're not evenly spaced. You hooligan. Okay, it'll do. Down like that. On there, let's try and make them just as uneven on the other side. I'm not paying attention now. I can't see the other side to see where to put them, so we'll just we'll just go for it. And if anybody comments on it, well, they can mind their own damn business. Really should have switched to a shorter brush. Oh. <laughs> Do you ever do something and you think, that's awful, but I'm going to leave it? Yeah, it's going in the lab. <laughs> I'm just going to give that a half cure because even though I'm going to be going up to those black lines at the bottom with the hot chocolate, 30 seconds is going to be enough for it to be fine to not, you know, the black will be set-ish. It's not moving, it's not going to blend in with the fuchsia. That's what I mean. I've decided I think I want to leave this bit empty because I might put some crystals there but I do want more of the fuchsia on here so I'm going to go from this line here and just follow it out and then the same with this one so do we go up into this bit here or do we leave that empty. I might do it without it first and then we can decide. Just carefully putting this on and this side. Thank you everyone for your comments on the last video. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I was very nervous to post it um, but it's something I've had in mind. Not crime but just, I, well the aim was weird stuff. <laughs> but I happened to be reading about the great train robbery, so that's why we did that. Um, but I've had that sort of thing in mind for a while. I will explain more when I finally show you my top secret project, which still isn't finished, but I will be able to explain something 
a story that no one will probably believe, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh, what do we think? Should we go into that? I think we should to keep the sort of V shape. Yeah, that's better. Okay, in the lamp. I had words with this spider yesterday. I said if he doesn't get any bigger, he can live. I think his legs are longer than they were yesterday. He's only tiny. If he does get any bigger, he will die. Of natural causes, I won't kill him. It's five o'clock, it's pitch black. Oh, I went over the fuchsia, the hot chocolate, with a second coat and it just kind of gave it that pow. So I've done two coats over the pinky bits. <laughs> I'm going to add some crystals now. I'm going to plomp, plomp, plop, plonk, plomp. Plump will do. We're going to plump one there and one there. I'm just using a rubber base coat to stick these onto. Smaller ones here and here. Whoop. So there's more room at the top. So I'll put the bigger ones there. Stay. And this one. Doop. Look how perfectly they match that polish. A bigger and a smaller one here, but they're smaller than the others, like that. Okay, I'm going to cure those in place. Oh, you bastard. It's cured wonky. So that's cured wonky. So I'm going to, oh, ping it off. Should really buff that a bit. I'm just going to go over it and try and put it in the right place. If this was a person, well... If this was a person, I would have made sure that it was in the right place before it went in the lamp. <laughs> now, do as you're told. There. Now it's on a massive hump. Oh, just going to have to ignore that, I think. I wasn't planning on it, but I think I want to do this matte and then shiny where the glitter is. I didn't intend to do a mix of the two. I think it will look really cool. It will really make the glitter pop. So I'm taking a matte top. Go over everything. It might help disguise where I've messed up with my crystal that moved in the lamp. We had to put it back on again. Making sure not to go over any of the crystal. Never, never, never. And also with a matte top and I think this is the reason why I like to do matte when I've used crystals. See how wiggly the light line is around the crystals? Really bugs me, like really bugs me. So doing it matte you don't get a light line. Right, I think that's all covered. Into the lamp. Oh that's in the lamp. Shall we have our hater? Let's have our hater. This is amazing. It's from, do you like my new phone case? Look, it's got a skull somewhere down there. Ooh, and that's a crystal ball, but you can't see the stand it's on because of my great big pop socket. And it's actually clear, um, all of the bits are clear. So I just happened upon some hollow card and cut out the little camera bit and now it's all hollow. Anyway, our message is from someone called Deep Throat. Charming. Deep Throat says, people that caption their dogs have a mental illness. The dog is cute and doesn't need captions. Sort it out. Sort out your writing. There's four mistakes in that, it's only three lines long. I have a question for you, Deep Throat. Who hurt you? Who hurt you, Deep Throat? Firstly, Dexter wrote those captions. I'm not a mind reader, how would I know what he was thinking, idiot? Secondly, and this is a stab in the dark, I don't think Deep Throat is a licensed medical professional. Her picture alone proves that she's got things stuck up her nose. That's not safe or sanitary. Imagine having that personality. Not liking a dog video to the point of leaving a shitty comment. I mean, I just, can you just, we don't need that kind of negativity. Don't bring it here. It's not your place to bring that to us. Your place is clearly guzzling <laughs> I can't say that. I'm leaving it in. 
Um, <laughs> I hope I ruined your day. I don't really. I don't hope that on anybody because I'm not a miserable fuck who doesn't like dog videos. I'm going to have to tell Dexter about this. He wrote the comments. How do you think that's going to make him feel? You're going to upset a Labrador. What kind of messed up human are you? Anyway, I replied and as I say, I got a little bit frilly with it. But it was fun, it was fun, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that one very much. You'll see in my reply that I mentioned, because if, if someone leaves a shitty comment, I will go onto their profile and see what videos they upload and so I can block them. And she had uploaded a video that was super duper f***ing racist. So now I really disliked her. But she obviously saw my comment because she's taken that video down. So she's left a shitty comment and it has resulted in a racist video being taken off the internet. I think that's a fantastic win for the gang friends because she knows that people will see it and then go on there and probably say something horrible to her. Oh, and she can't handle a negative comment. Hello? Racist dog hater. Oh, don't watch. Just don't watch. I really don't want you here. Just no. No. Fuck off. Miss Jo for Miss Jo's Nails. England. Back to the studio. Oh, it looks nice matte. Even the glitter. Doesn't that look cool, matte? Oh. oh. But we will shiny the glitter because it would just be sacrilege not to. So I'm taking the Madame Glam Soak Off Top Coat again. I'm going to try and do it thin because I don't want to have this bit too raised. I mean, it will be raised a tiny bit anyway because it's two coats thicker. But I want to make sure that this is straight, these lines, because they'll show if they're not. It'll be a bit wiggly. Will The light line from them will be. Oh, this glitter is amazing. It deserves a song. <laughs> Do you ever just marvel at glitter? Just like, ugh, it's so good. It's just so nice to look at. My eyeballs thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> I swear my commentary gets better every time. Just ooing and ahhing. It's like listening to someone watch a fireworks show. I'm going to have to go on to the black a bit, but that's okay. That's okay, because this black line is a lot flatter than the glitter line. So we will get a smoother, straighter line on the flat surfaced bit. Okay. You like the things that life is showing you. If it's glitter, yes. Here is this one. Oh, I'm glad I did the matte and shiny. Definitely. It's kind of like Tribal meets Gatsby. Or not Gatsby, but just Art Deco maybe meets... I don't know. I don't know what it is. But there it is. <gasps> no! My brush is bent. No! No! Are you okay? Don't die. I'm sorry. On this next one, a black one, I'm going to try and do a glitter fade with the hot chocolate. Although it's not glitter in a clear... Why do I shout all the time? It is. It's because the camera is far away and I feel like I need to reach it. Because this isn't a glitter in a clear polish, I'm not sure how it's going to fade because there is a base colour. We'll see. So I'm going to put the bulk of it up here. Oh. <laughs> and then... Start to bring it down. This is the Barbara 2 brush. See, I'm not sure how it's going to go because it does, like I say, it has got a, a colour base. But I think it might be okay. If not, it will just be like an ombre. Kind of. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, black in this colour. I just love it. It's like a black cherry. But I think the next set. Let me know in the comments. Which should I do next? Shall I do this colour or shall I do black with 
under uh, under what was it called under pressure or cosmic sparkle oh yes I'm liking this at the moment I've got oh I've got gel and grub all over my, all over my nails but I've got um little hollow flakes on black this is the Madame Glam black right will this do I kind of might just have to fade it quite a lot down oh no I don't want you there go away okay yeah. this one definitely has to be shiny would look cool matte though but shiny I forgot to say with the first one but we are topping this with shiny top of course of course you see how you can see a bit of the color there so I should maybe have done a better job of blending it into the black, but I don't think it's that noticeable. If it was a person, then I probably would have spent a little more time just blending that bit. Oh, yes. Mm, it's pretty. Look at this. That's beautiful. I just cannot get over this hot chocolate polish it's so amazing on the next pinky one we're going to try and tie it in with the other one so i like to have an aspect of one nail on another nail and then it kind of it makes a set as opposed to having different things on everything we know this already i'm going to do another v i'm going to do a bit lower down here and here is that even mm. And then the same will do a gap here. This isn't going to have the pink in it. This is going to have the lines in it that match the lines in the other one. That doesn't look even at all. It might look all right once we put the lines on. Shall I flash or shall I do the lines now? Let's just do it now. Which way did I do them? This way. No messing about, just get it done. The others were unevenly spaced, so it doesn't matter if these are. <laughs> oh, don't laugh. But we can get the first one as close to it as possible. Again, should be using a shorter brush and have a bit more control. And boop. Mm. That will do, donkey. I do not have the face for an updo. Now we're going to do a crescent moon. I'm doing it again. I'm making a set of nails somewhat celestial. We're going to do it with hot chocolate. So we'll use this line as our little marker. Oh, that's bigger than I wanted. Never mind. As long as it's not to scale. <laughs> and then, oh. Oh, be careful trying to make straight lines with a glitter polish. This is too chubby. It looks like Pac-Man. I think I'm going to do it in black first because that will give us a crisper edge. And we've got the hot chocolate over black on the fade nail. So that's fine. Now the line in the centre is trying to Fuck with my shit. We don't want a straight line through our moon. Yeah, trying to paint a straight line with a glitter polish is kind of tricky. So we'll do it this way and then we'll have a nice crisp, crispish line. We call, well, over here, crisps are what other countries call um, chips and chips are what other countries call fries. Like skinny fries, we'll call French fries or skinny fries. But, you know, chip shop chips, fish and chip shop, they tend to be chunky. Why am I talking about this? Am I hungry, maybe? How did we get onto chips? Crisps, crisp lines. Yeah, so Doritos are crisps. There's a useless bit of non-relevant information for you. 
Come the fuck on, Bridget. I'm going to cure that. So now let's fill in our little moon. Little moon with hot chocolate. It will be the same sort of thing. You have to be careful that bits of glitter don't poke outside the lines. We can avoid getting too close to them. Even though this is something that's less than a centimetre, we can avoid getting too close to the edges. I think I might do two coats of this. I don't know that this ties in with the rest of the set, having a moon. Or does the rest of the set not tie in with the moon? The moon is much more important. Looked out my window last night. Well, it wasn't last night, it was five o'clock this morning and I had decided I really should try and go to sleep. And the stars were so bright and there were so many of them outside my bedroom. Because my bedroom window looks over the sea, there's no, you know, pollute, light pollution or anything there. Oh, it was so nice. So then I had to go and get my telescope. So I was telescoping until about half past five this morning. Let's do a second coat of this. See how it kind of instantly pops because there's twice as much glitter now to catch the light. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm on the hunt for a crescent moon necklace. I'm going to put it on my Christmas list. <laughs> um, although, knowing me, if I find it, I won't want to wait anymore. And I'll want it before Christmas. So I'll probably just buy it for myself. When I find something I want, I want it yesterday. Little moon. Imagine if the moon was fucking glittery. <gasps> I'm going to put some crystals on this nail as well, above and below the moon, maybe, just above, just below. I think we've got room to do one there, and then I might put some getting smaller here. Here. Right, let's put this little guy here. Plonk. Wait. And this one here, have we got room for two little ones maybe just teeny tiny one there stay there will you crikey it's like the phases of the moon with the, the crystals getting smaller well no because it kind of gets half bigger 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 anyway so we'll mat top this as well and we'll use that to seal in around the crystals and then we'll go over our little sparkly moon. So we'll go down the sides, being sure to seal everything in, letting the bristles of the brush sort of go under the crystals and in between them, but not on them. Did I just go on them as I said that? <laughs> and I don't know why I've gone upside down for this, but here we are. What is this black fleck? What are you? Go away. I'll deal with you in a minute. I want to make sure, even though it dries matte, I do want to make sure that it's not streaky anywhere because they will show up once it's cured. There's a random fleck of something there. I don't know what it is. Let's make our little moon shiny. Shiny want to try and avoid the shiny going outside of the moon and bleeding into the mat. Oh, it's so cute. Put a little blob there and then just spread it out like this. Okay. Right. Careful. Everybody whisper. Why is it the second I put a moon or a star on something, I just fall in love with it? I'm trying to understand the universe at the moment. I, I'm reading um, A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking and I got the illustrated version. So it's the same book, but it has accompanying illustrations. Not like Roald Dahl book had illustrations. These were not drawn by Quentin Blake. These, I, I looked through the book first and I have no idea what they are. I'm just hoping by the time I get to that chapter, it will all make sense. Cause if someone asked me what that picture was depicting, wouldn't have a clue. 
This is adorable. Look at our little moon. Oh, it's so cute. I like that one. That was nice and easy. I'm not sure if this next one is going to go with the set at all, but I really want to try it. So if it doesn't go, I would suggest doing something else. I'm going to do a line of hot chocolate and make it quite long. That will do. And then a line of the pinky nude. You put quite a bit on your brush for it to fall off. Like that. And then I'm doing a line of the black. And then I'm going to take a cuticle stick and I'm just going to mess them up a smidge. Not a lot, just a smidge. Do you need an ombre brush? Maybe? And then I'm going to scoop up like that and lay it on the nail. I think I need to scoop up more. I'm going to scoop a bunch up. I'm going to scoop up quite a lot. Looks nice on the brush, doesn't it? Mm. And then lay it. So I'm kind of don't want to shake my brush too much because it will give it a really wiggly pattern but I don't want it to be a straight line. Now I've got some on here, so I'm going to do the same, but carefully, not pressing into the nail, just sort of touching the nail with the polish. Okay. Now, do I leave it like that, or do I go all the way down? And I think I'll go, yeah, I think I will go here. See how that's quite thick there now? wiped my brush a bit and I'm going to poke into it and pull it out so that we haven't got too much thickness because it will crinkle in the lamp. I think I want to add a bit more of the sparkle and I've cleaned my brushes away so I'm going to use a cuticle stick and add it. Is that going to work? No. Just lay some there stretch it out. Will that do? I think it will do. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp. I think I'm going to matte this and then shiny the marbly bit. Then we'll go over everything with matte. Oh it does look nice all shiny though. You can't beat shiny black can you? And, oh it's pretty. I very rarely do marbles like that because I don't, it's not my favourite way of doing it and it's not my favorite look for marbles either. I'm not overly keen on it. It looks nice, but it's not my favorite kind of marble, but that does look really nice. Did anybody notice in the last video, the toy soldier one, I did a crystal pattern that I thought of myself, it's probably been done before, but I thought of it myself and it wasn't a straight line. <gasps> Who is she? I will be doing more Christmas sets soon lots more. It's been dark since about half past four today so just thinking about Christmas and doing Christmas nails makes that okay. <laughs> oh this in matte! Look at this in matte! <gasps> That's pretty! Shall we shiny that bit? We should do really all the other bits with that on a shiny. Let's shiny it! So we will go over this most satisfying part of being a nail technician is topping matte or buffed glitter or does oh look at that yes into the lamp i think i'm regretting the matte black i think it needs to be all shiny i'll show you what do you think so this is it with matte black and shiny majigs. But I think the black needs to be shiny. I think it looks a bit odd. 
with the rest of them. So I'm going to do it all in shiny. And because this top coat is a tacky top coat that needs you to wipe the um, tacky layer off, then I can go straight over it without worrying about it not sticking to that bit. Not that I would worry that much anyway, because it's not a real person. So let's go over everything. Why does this feel weird? Oh, that's why. Yes, that's better. I think it did look cool with the mat, but it, as a, putting it next to everything else, it looked a bit odd. So we'll do it all shiny, shiny, shiny. I was saying that I'm not normally a fan of this type of marbling, but I really like that. It reminds me of raspberry ripple ice cream. <gasps> mm, ice cream. Right, we'll cure that. That's much better. Is it? Yes. So now it's all shiny. Look at this. That's so pretty. It's like a little geode. Right. And just like that, like that, we are done. Shall we have a look at the final set? Okay. So here is the final set. What do you think? Which one is your favourite? Guess which one is my favourite or let me know which one is your favourite. Don't forget you can use code MISSJO30 underscore one for a discount, a 30% discount at Madame Glam. And don't forget to get your paws. Can you hear this all moving around in there? It's heavy stuff. To get your paws on one of these amazing advent... Oh, can you use the box after as well? Let's have another look quickly. Oh, hello. So you can use your discount code to buy this as well and there'll be loads of stuff for you to try in there and you get this lovely box, which isn't the point of it. It's just an added bonus. We'll leave details of the big sale they are having in the description with the date and what you need to do and a link to get to all this good, lovely stuff. That would be brilliant if we could do that together. Me and you, you and me, little gang friends, opening our advent calendars together, brilliant. What was it that was saying in the comments the other day that uh, if they ever need to pretend to be British, they'll say a certain something. And I said, all you need to do is say, instead of saying, oh, say, oh, and say words like ghastly and brilliant and perchance. We don't all speak like that. Speaking of speaking of speaking, thinking about the haters and how the majority of them are very bad at spelling or grammar. I was thinking of ending the video, zzz, possibly, with a little grammar slash spelling tutorial, not lesson. That makes me sound like a bit of a dick. It has nothing to do with nails, but I thought it might be quite interesting. So I've made a list of commonly confused words and their spellings. For example, accept and accept, allowed and allowed, apologies and apologize, your and your, there, there and there, two, two and two, then and then, that sort of thing. How the fuck apostrophes work. Shall we? Shall we do that? Just for fun because I love this sort of thing. Not because I dislike people who do it wrong, don't really care. Unless you leave a hater comment, then I will rip you for it. But just because I find it interesting, maybe others do too. The first one on my list is... Desert and dessert. One has two S's, one has one S. How do you remember? Would you want more desert or more dessert? More dessert, an extra S, that's it. Desert, not a lot going on in the desert, just a lonely one S. Want lots of dessert, two S's. Empty desert, just one S. That's how I remember it. So, this makes no sense to have at the end of a nail video, but there it is, it's there. If you do like that section, think of a name for it and put it in the comments below and uh, maybe we'll do that from now on. Or etymology, 
I like. So we could do something about that, like phrases, where they originate from and how they came to be. I like that sort of thing. I just like to talk about, just like to talk all the time. No, that's not true. I like to sit in silence, talk to nobody. Yet here I am, three hours and 15 minutes into filming, still fucking talking. I'm gonna go. Um, I appreciate you being here so, so much. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's a few videos on there. One day I might make the effort to put more, I don't know, but Instagram. Um, and obviously subscribe on here if you do like this video and give it a thumbs up. I very much look forward to seeing you in the next one. And I hope you come join me there. This is where I get all awkward and start twisting my hands. Okay, thanks guys. Bye bye. I think that's everything I need to say. Is it? Are we done? I think so. Oh, damn you crazy child. You took a phone off the hook and disappeared for a while. Do you know where you're going to? To the day of our little moon. Little moon! Oh, please tell me that was recording. Why? 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 Oh fuck, I don't know. So down in the crazy child. I've gone in the in the middle, I'm in the line zone. I call my grandma grandma. But some people say grandma. Anyway. Oh no, my fingers falling apart. Posing for thumbnails is the most unnatural thing in the world. I don't know what I mistook for the moon. It's hard to mistake it for anything else. Is there another fucking great big circle in the sky? Going up. That's a spirit in the sky. Anyway, take your f***ing racist videos and fuck off. Step in the base. Oh, dead leg, dead leg, dead leg. Don't move any closer F spiders fuck off i just i can't around with the camera anymore i'm gonna lose my rag